hi guys welcome back to my channel on bamji foods diy today i'll be teaching you how to make laundry soap with salt and sodium sulfates this will help you to achieve a very hard bar without using sodium silicates in your making of soap the list of all the items i'm using for this particular production will be listed out on the screen for you to see I'm making use of palm kernel oil, 200 grams, and then 50 grams of palm oil. These are the two hard oils I'll be using. Then for the salt, I will be using one quarter teaspoon of salt. Please make sure you use one quarter teaspoon of salt for 250 grams of oil, and half teaspoon of salt for a 500 grams of oil you have to add the salt to warm water and make sure it dissolves properly before adding the water into your caustic soda to make your light solution salt generally helps you to make a very fine hard bar it will help you to mold your soap quickly from your mold if you are making a very big bar and um, log of soap and it will also help you to cure your soap quickly adding salt to your soap is a very tricky thing you have to make sure you work with the measurements that i listed on the screen above anything other than this measurement may result you to having a very strong soap that may crack while you are cutting it or may be difficult for you to, to cut or also it can also give you a soap that may crumble so once the lye is well dissolved you go ahead and add in the mixture of your lye and your salt solution into your oil mix very well until you have a good trace most standard companies like Viva Soap, Fizz Soap and all the rest of them, if you check the, the ingredients at the back of their soap, you will surely see sodium chloride written behind. Sodium chloride is a normal table salt and that is what I use in this production. Making use of this sodium chloride and sodium sulfate in this soap making made me not to add in any extra uh, hardener like the sodium silicate that every soapers is used to making their soap with so just make use of the salt and then add your sodium sulfate and then you have a very nice hard bar so note that adding excess of soap soaping hardness to your soap like sodium sulfate i see some people combining sodium sulfate and sodium uh, silicate in a very outrageous quantity it will make you to have a very strong bar that will be difficult for you to cut you end up breaking that soap and when you sell it to a, a customer as they are using the soap the soap will be breaking your soap will not be gelling at all if you want to achieve that texture of having something like a baby and me so that once it's getting finished it will still be jelly it won't break just follow this procedure and you have that kind of texture of soap also it is vivid enough that i did not make use of calcium cabinet for the soap because of the texture of the soap i want to achieve at the end i added a little bit of tint of orange color to this soap to give it a a a, a very beautiful kind of color so once you are done you just pour your soap into your soapy mold and then allow it to to stay and get hard before you mold I have a soaping class, a paid soaping class you can enroll in if you want to learn very well on how to soap multipurpose laundry soap, brown soap and all the types of soap and other skincare products. Do well to contact me with the number you can see on your screen via WhatsApp message and then I can send the flyers details to you. You can subscribe to any of our paid classes. We also have a free group you can enroll in. Just check the description box, you will see the WhatsApp link to the free WhatsApp group. Click it and then you are automatically into the free group. 
it, the free group is mainly for ma- sharing receipts of different household productions and you actually learn a lot if you are in this group do well to join and then if you want to go for a soaping class or any class at all also do well to contact me using the whatsapp number on your screen after about four to six hours by i i think by four the fourth hour the soap was already very hard but i waited till six hours before i removed it from the mold this is a very small soap so it will get hard quickly it wouldn't waste any time compared to those who make very large portions of soap like eight liters of oil or ten liters of oil so i unmolded removed it from my grease proof paper and then i cut the soap each of the bars gave me around 130 gram 130 gram and i was able to get four pieces of this soap four pieces of 130 gram The soap is indeed jelly as I want it to be. The texture came out the way I want it to be. I don't want a chalky soap. I wanted a very beautiful, soft, textured soap. You can see very well that the soap is very hard. That we can, you can actually achieve a very hard bar soap without making use of sodium silicates with just sodium sulfate and a little bit of soap. In fact, even with only sodium sulfate, you can achieve this soap. I just made this video to help some people know that you can use salt in making your soap and you have a very strong bath soap like the way I'm having here on the screen. The soap is not mushy, the soap is not, is not wet, the soap is not soft, the soap is very hard. You can incorporate this method into your soaping method and you'll be having a good outcome once you are done with it. Please, if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, like my video, subscribe to my channel so that others who are in need of this video will also see it and benefit from what I'm teaching you from this video. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Contact us on the on WhatsApp. Join our WhatsApp group. Subscribe to any of our paid classes. And you actually love to work with me.